Elite School of Optometry, known as ESO, run by Shankar Nitralaya, Unit of Medical Research Foundation, is hosting the third ESO's International Vision Science and Optometry Conference. Thank you all. Now Dr. Meenakshi, our Director of Academics, will deliver the welcome. On behalf of the Elite School of Optometry and Medical Research Foundation, I extend a hearty welcome to all of you gathered here for this year's, uh, this evening's press meet and curtain raiser. ESO, the first optometry school in India to offer a four-year degree program in optometry, has constantly strived to raise the standards of optometry, education and research in India. This conference, eVOC, reflects that commitment to optometry and vision science. It brings uh, from Association of Optic Dispensing Optics, the giant in optometric optics, in world of optometric optics, uh, Professor Mo Jali, and uh, my other dignitaries. I thought I would just share for people who are, and I think I've various schools of optometry, practitioners of optometry in this country, as well as vision scientists, and that's how this international conferences have evolved for the first time in 2005, later in 2010, and this is the third ESO's International Vision Science and Optometry Conference. We have achieved a lot during the 2005 and 2010. We also learned a lot. This time, the highlights are unique and very, very pertinent to this wonderful nation. I would like to highlight some of those, and people who are eager to know more always welcome to our conference during 14, 15, and 16, 13th at our center here. The pre-conference con has going to happen. The one of the foremost highlight, we all know today parents are concerned about children's effect on the eye. Many a times you've seen, I think older time we say watching TV at the closer distance, later it's the computers, now it is gadgets, smartphones. We all know it has got an effect. Now, we are going to have an exclusive session on how to control myopia and also going to deliberate on two important aspects. Apart from control of myopia, we are going to see, listen to experts on whether outdoor activity improving on or increasing on number of hours of outdoor activity will help us stop the epidemic of myopia in the country like us. Conference, I'm sure, and it's going to from different parts of the country, I'm 100% sure at least few of them will take up this and try to see how to rehabilitate people who are meeting with this type of unfortunate uh, incidence of trauma. This is the important highlight that we are trying to bring first time to this country. Now, no child, I request the media to try.